Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with another toy review this time for Mastermind Creations reformatted R0540 Mercenary Ground Assaulter Alright, so this is the uh, box uh, very nice box art for Fortis. Uh, without further ado, here is Fortis. So, uh, just got Fortis from uh, Metro Toys uh, today. And uh, yeah, here am I doing a review for you. Alright, so let me just focus the camera down a little bit on Fortis. So, here we see Fortis, uh, the second of the series. Um, basically, on, on the whole, this figure is, um, I would say, the same engineering and same, more or less the same design as uh, Bovis. So, they have the same design. So, both of them form the legs of uh, Predator King. Okay, they form the legs of the uh, combined form, so that's why they have the same design. So any difference is the uh, face uh, and the rhino uh, head and the uh, chest design. Uh, but more or less they are the same. But uh, you know what, uh, despite that being the case, uh, it's alright because this is really a very well engineered piece. and. Um, I personally feel that they've done a very good job on this to, to make him look really great, uh, the plastic quality is good. Um, so it doesn't really matter that they are more or less the same design as long as you know we get something that looks good. And uh, both Fortis and uh, Bovis, they look really hunky uh, and look really menacing so that's how they should look. So uh, prior to the review, I've actually assembled uh, full armor for him uh, and you can see the back cannon and the front. So these cannons here, you can actually retract it or, or put it front. Uh, it's really really cool and then the swords here daggers right is uh, all over here so uh, just just a hint for those of you who want to insert the dagger the easy way to insert the dagger is just to uh, slot it in over here at an angle all right and then just uh, rotate it within the hand itself and you can hold dagger well so this is it and uh, you know this is really a nice piece uh, let's, let me just try to do a very dynamic pose for for um Fortis. So here is Fortis in his attack mode. Look at him, really quite menacing. Yeah, having his uh, twin daggers ready to strike anytime. So this is really cool. This is really, really cool. I like this guy because of his articulation and uh, he can do a kneeling pose easily, which I really like. You know, I like toys that can do kneeling pose, and this really strikes to me as a, a, as a great uh, design, you know, to be able to do a kneeling pose. All right, so um, let me just first, uh, before I proceed further, take out the uh, accessories. So just take out the uh, swords, um, daggers, I mean, and uh, take out the uh, little guns, and uh, remove the backpack as well. So in terms of articulation, head, he has a full 360 rotation, not much of a neck uh, uh, movement. Shoulders wise, you can lift them up this much. 360 arm rotation. He has a uh, double jointed elbow. Okay. R uh, wrist wise, he can actually rotate 360 as well. Um, in terms of his waist, okay, he can rotate 360 at the waist. Okay. And uh, legs wise at the thighs, you can move this much to the back, nearly about uh, 90 degrees, and move 90 degrees forward. Okay. And uh, sideways, he can actually move. If you actually remove move this part to the side, you can actually move 90 degrees upwards. But this is meant uh, to be here anyway. So knees-wise, he can bend 90 degrees, uh, which allows him to do his um, kneeling pose. Uh, Feet-wise, you can actually rotate sideways and forward. So that's uh, that about it for the uh, row, for the articulation. As you can see, wow, this is really cool. Ready to pounce on you. Wow, 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 wow. I'm really impressed. So uh, let's get to the uh, transformation. First thing what you want to do to flip the head up. And uh, what you want to do next is to rotate the head 180 degrees backwards. And you keep the uh, wrist in. Okay. And once you're done that, you actually detach these legs from here. And as you do so, you will rotate this uh, 90 degrees backwards you collapse the elbows and the tap here goes into here okay once it's done over here this catch here this two catch over here goes into this part so align them and there you have it over here and uh, for the feet rotate them 180 degrees and there we have um, one leg done so for the second leg similarly what you're gonna do just to unpack this from the shoulders all right Rotate this uh, 90 degrees down, collapse the shoulder, uh, the elbows, 
and uh, lock this in place. Okay, once you're done, similarly over here, catch this over here, uh, lock it in place. Right, so once you're done, you rotate the feet 180 degrees and you're done with uh, both feet. All right, so uh, next part, what you're gonna do, you need to actually rotate the, uh, you need to actually move these portions here, this side, waist side pieces over here first. Uh, hold them in place as you rotate the um, waist uh, 180 degrees. So let me just rotate it. Okay, and um, there we are done. So next, uh, what you're gonna do, you're going to actually push this out, rotate 90 degrees, and push it down. Okay, just to lock it back in place. Okay, so you push this from here, there's actually a uh, uh, protruding part here. Push this out, rotate the 90 degrees, and over here, you'll see there's a joint for you to actually lock it in place. So here, we are done. So uh, next, what you like to do, you can open up this part, and as you do so, you will rotate this over and once you're done over here, this portion, this gap here, locks into this yellow part. Okay, done. Okay, and uh, similarly for the other side, you do it likewise and done. This transformation is actually very easy, especially if you already have um, Bovis, if you play Bovis, you have no problem with this at all because it's exactly the same transformation. So I'm gonna do this one, just extend it here first, open this part here. Okay, you're gonna collapse these two portions down and right now what I'm gonna do is rotate this. Okay, nice clicky joints, rotate them. Okay, and move it down. Okay, and collapse it over here. Okay, let me just move this a little bit. Okay, okay, got a little bit stuck here. But no worries. Okay, and just uh, adjust and align it a little bit. Okay, let me just pull this out first. Okay, making sure this part goes in nicely. Yep, lock it in. And once you are here, close this portion. And for the same side, similarly, you rotate it down, rotate, rotate, rotate 90 degrees all the way over and collapse it down and there we are done so this part is done okay and you lock it together close it together and move the hands back here over here all right and uh, what you're gonna do you're gonna collapse this two portions back lock it in place yep lock it in place let me just see yep lock it in place very nicely over here okay and there you have the uh, elbow yes, over here push it down push it down there you have the main body done. So what you need to do right now is just to uh, remove this. Okay, uncatch it. Okay, and rotate it this way. Similarly for the other side, remove the catch. Okay, rotate it this way. And gotta flip down the uh, toes. Okay, this portion locks into uh, this hole over here very easily. Similarly over here, just uncatch it lock it over here and uh, next thing what you do rotate the uh, feet 180 degrees rotate the feet 180 degrees and here we are done with the uh, rhino mode the beast mode of uh, Fortis looks really cool now it looks really uh, muscular and, and, and big like a, a rhino you know a real rhino so it's really cool the horns and over here uh, but likewise I think a silly thing is that you know when you open the mouth you see the head so that's um, just silly to me but oh well and um, okay to uh, give you a full armored uh, look similarly you have this portion you gotta move tap, move this black tap down and you're gonna tap it to the back over here I'm gonna find the angle to do it correctly okay Okay, and I lock it in. Wow! In fact, this this feels to me easier to to slot in compared to uh, Bobby's. Uh, not under don't don't understand why, but uh, as long as it works anyway. So this cannons, all right? Cannons will actually go to the uh, back. So you just uh, plug them in over here. One here, the other one over here. Yeah, really nice. And the daggers, all right? The daggers will actually um, go over here, on the front side. One and two 
and there you have uh, oops let me just um, push this in further one and two so yes so here you see um, Fortis full uh, battle armored Fortis really really awesome really really impressive and really full of firepower so two major cannons two small cannons and two uh, daggers wow so imagine we rams through uh, the enemies you just ram them with horn and at the same time cut them and slice them with these two daggers by the side so it's really awesome I mean the look at this this um, this amount of artillery and, and firepower and, and massive um, damage how, how much you can do man it's really really impressive I feel that it's wow just simply wow the animal mode with all this is really really cool it's really really awesome Okay, so right now I'm just gonna take the um, cannons off, take the dagger off, remove this portion. Okay, and I'm going to uh, form the uh, limb mode. So first thing what you do, you just have to uh, rotate the head. Okay, and you catch the chin. Okay, this is red part of the chin against this uh, space over here and lock it here. All right, so next thing what you're gonna do, uh, you will need to um, align the legs back. So what you do, Simply rotate the uh, feet 90 degrees back and you're gonna find the uh, catch to actually lock it back. Okay, got it here. So the catch is actually at the back, this um, black part here. So what you do is actually um, lock the uh, top portion. Okay, let me see, is it top or bottom? Uh, oh, sorry, the bottom portion. So you need to lock the bottom portion, this bottom opening over here to the black part. So let me just lock it here. Okay, it's all black and a little bit dark, so you might need to uh, fiddle a little bit. But it's pretty easy to um, get it locked in. Let me just find the uh, alignment over here. Okay, I'm a bit lost. Uh, da -da -dum, da -da -dum. Let me just try to find the alignment. Uh, and I got it locked in place. So the nice thing about this is that everything locks in place really, really nicely. And next thing what you gotta do, uh, similarly to Bovis, uh, the way you actually lock this back is just rotate it up, lock it in. It's the simplest way I can I can find to actually lock it back in. So from one angle, rotate it and push it back in and it locks in place very, very nicely. Okay, next thing you wanna do, I have to split the lower bodies apart and uh, okay. Okay, let me just make sure this thing closes properly. Okay. Because you need the uh, hip portion to close really nicely for this transformation to work. So I need to do some checks. Just to make sure the hips lock properly. Just make sure they close and align properly. Okay. Over here. Okay, so what you're gonna do right now, just to remove this portion, rotate it, and you're gonna slot the um, leg portion in. Okay, let me just see this portion wise. Okay, let me make sure it locks in properly. So what you're gonna do in order for the transformation to actually slot nicely, you gotta make sure this this portion, okay, this yellow portion actually closes in completely over here. So what you do once you uh, make sure that it's done, okay, you will um, slot it in, okay. As long as the uh, you close it properly, you can actually close it very tightly, and there you have it. Wow. Okay. So to wrap it up the transformation for the uh, leg, you need to actually open this. Okay. Okay. So you uh, open this, you rotate it down. There will be a tab over here. This this tab, okay. This uh, black tab goes into this hole. Okay. Tap it in easily. Similarly, this tab, okay. This uh, black tab goes into this hole over here. The ex the uh, external hole, the one facing outside. And once you are done here, you actually collapse these two together, and these two portions actually join together like this okay so once you're done with this okay let me just align them a little bit nicely okay once you're done with this 
to uh, to rotate the legs you need to rotate the feet 180 degrees similarly the feet 180 degrees over here you rotate 90 degrees okay and it's going to catch the lower portion so the lower portion is going to catch to this yellow tab here so over here uh, tap it in okay no is it portion no it's the upper portion sorry the upper portion so it's supposed to tap to the upper portion sorry my bad get a little bit confused sometimes so you tap in tap it in lock it in place nicely and there you have the lower limb well done and again the articulation for the limb is really cool you move sideways uh, front back the there's a side toe movement as well um, really looking forward to the uh, overall combined form this is going to be really really awesome awesome and really really impressive so I'm really um, looking forward to the uh, overall combined form it's really going to be huge so um, yes I'm talking to you right now I'm just going to split this apart from back to robot mode to see to show you how easy it is to actually play with this guy so this is really I mean the when you're used to Bovis um, transforming for this is really not a problem at all it's just very instinctive and um, it's just really fun I mean this the thing about MMC toys um, is like um, you can really play with them uh, handle them I won't say roughly but just handle them like the way you play with any toys and um, they can withstand the uh, stress and strain of a normal play yeah that's why I put it the stress and strain of a normal play so you do not have to be extremely worried about breaking something or, or something yeah you don't, you don't really you, you can play this guy with peace you know your peace of mind and enjoy playing with him without having to worry that you will break something because the chances of you doing so is not very high unless um, you are really ex very very rough you know because all the parts here I think um, they really align really well and, and I think the plastic quality is, is really good um, as you can see from my video right now I'm actually just sort of like a, a little bit rushing through the transformation um, but you know this whole piece is just really still holding up very well uh, joints are really tight I actually transformed this guy a couple of times uh, before the review but all the joints are still so freaking tight uh, which is a good thing I mean it's still a good thing um, that joints are tight because it means that you can endure play and um, yeah, it wouldn't go loose easily over time um, so it's really cool it's really really cool I'm having really a lot of fun playing with this guy and I'm um, really looking forward to the next piece actually I wonder when I'm gonna get the next piece but uh, hope it will be soon not sure which is the next piece or whether it's gonna be the uh, I think the next piece is gonna be the the Jaguar yeah the Jaguar based on what I read in the uh, comic book uh, that came with uh, the instructions it's supposed to be the, the Jaguar so hold on, I'm just aligning this tap well nice it's really cool so after I'm done with this transformation, I'm just going to show you what other things that this um, this Fortis came with. Da -da -da. So it's really fun, 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 fun. Yeah, what can you say it's really fun? Um, lock it back over here. Okay. Wow. Cool. So here, yes, in a matter of uh, minutes, I have transformed Fortis back to his robot mode. And he looks really awesome and uh, he comes to use the bio card and he comes with an extra back hip uh, waist piece for for Bovis so this is exactly the same as this piece at the back um, I'm not sure why they gave the extra piece maybe they had some complaints or some issues or some uh, people complaining that there's some cracks or damage but um, I don't have any on mine but it's still a good spare part to have anyway um, not sure why they gave it but it's still a good spare part to have and it came with this uh, book and at the end of the book uh, there's this comic series and at the end of the comic it says the next, the, uh, next battle is uh, Moritorus Cat of Nine Tails so I suspect it's going to be this guy so really looking forward to it 
So uh, yes, so this toy basically is right now available in uh, Metro Toys. So check out the link at the uh, bottom. Okay, at the bottom, look at the com, uh, look at the description of this video. There is a link to Metro Toys and the link to uh, Fortis. Do get him now, and there's also an additional code. All right. So if you were to input this code, okay, uh, when you place your order with Metro Toys. You not only get uh, this um, two stickers. There are gonna be two electromagnetic stickers: one Autobot and one Decepticon that you can paste on your phone to actually reduce uh, radiation and, and the sorts. And apart from that, you also get a five uh, dollar discount of the stated price. So. This is a uh, five Singapore dollars discount off the stated price of what they have on, web on their website. So it's really a good offer to to have, and this is really really awesome piece to have. And uh, so yeah, do not forget to actually visit the link uh, below my video. Uh, visit Metro Toys and remember to quote them this uh, special code to get your five dollar discounts off uh, for this. So here's Charles signing off with yet another toy review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.